I've got the top five baseball cards to buy before the 2022 lockout ends. Stay tuned. What is up, everybody? Kyle here at Let's Talk Wax. There hasn't been much current progress with the MLB lockout, but it's given us hobby enthusiasts more time to prepare our collection for 2022. Regular season was set to start this coming week, but that's clearly not going to happen. So while we're all sitting here waiting for the lockout to end, I'm bringing you the top five baseball cards in 2022. Now, I didn't pull this list out of thin air, so I'm going to explain to you guys how it was compiled. First, I ruled out all players 25 and up. Then, I found the top weighted on base averages among those five players to get my list. Now, some of you may not be familiar with weighted on base average, or WOBA. The easiest explanation I could find for it came from Fangraphs, one of my favorite sites for prospecting. WOBA is a statistic that credits hitters for each single outcome, singles, doubles, triples, etc., rather than treating all of their hits and times on bases equally. If you look at the formula, you can see that each batted ball outcome is given a weighted score, 0.89 for a single, 1.27 1.27 for a double, 1.62 for a triple, and 2.10 for a home run. So instead of a triple just counting as a hit, a player will receive a multiplier of 1.62. It's a very good tool to measure the true offensive output of each player. And if you guys have some more questions, I'll put a link in the description for the complete breakdown over at Fangraphs. I also put each player's 2021 percentile rankings in different saber metrics, including average exit velocity, max exit velocity, hard hit percentage, X batting average, X slugging, and barrel percentage. And you will notice that all of the guys on this list are in the top percentile of every category. Now in this video, I'm also going to be telling you guys where to find each player's first Bowman Chrome prospect card and their tops flagship rookie. And I'm even going to provide PSA 10 comps for each card. And if you guys are trying to avoid higher print runs, you could always go for autos or parallels of all the cards that I'm going to show you today. Now, before we get into this list, if you guys are into baseball cards, rookies, and prospects, please subscribe to my channel and help me reach my new goal of 5,000 subscribers. And be sure to head over to my Patreon page where I have a ton of exclusive content for you guys to check out. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested. I'm going to start this video at five and work my way up to number one. But as usual, I have an honorable mention to put on this list. And that honorable mention is going to be Austin Riley. Riley is the Atlanta Braves third baseman. He posted a 379 WOBA good for 28th among all MLB players and a 6.1 war, putting him at number 14 among other big leaguers. In 2021, Austin Riley hit 303 with a 228 ISO P, 33 home runs and 33 doubles while holding a sub 30% K rate. His first PSA 10 Bowman prospect cards can be found in 2015 Bowman draft for around 65 bucks. And his flagship PSA 10 Topps cards can be found in 2019 Topps Chrome for 75. Kicking off the top five on this list is White Sox outfielder, Lewis Robert. Robert is 24 and posted a 399 WOBA, good for 13th in the MLB, and a 3.6 war, which put him at 91 among other big leaguers. His war is a bit misleading because he only played 68 games in 2021 due to a torn hip flexor. In his 296 plate appearances, Robert hit 338 with a 229 ISOP. 13 homers, 22 doubles, while posting a 20% K rate. You can find his first Chrome prospect cards in 2018 Bowman, with PSA 10 comps coming in around $150. His Topps flagship rookie cards can be found in 2020 Topps Chrome, with PSA 10 comps coming in around $50. Next on our list, with a 408 WOBA, is Padre shortstop Fernando Tatis Jr. Tatis's WOBA put him at number 9 among all MLB players. He also threw up a 6.6 war in 2021, putting him at number 10 among all big leaguers. In 2021, at the age of 22, Tatis hit 282 with 42 homers, an insane 329 ISO P, while only whiffing in 28% of his 546 plate appearances. You can find his first Chrome prospect cards in 2016 Bowman Chrome, with PSA 10 comps coming in around $700. 
Or you can take the cheap route on his Topps flagship rookies, which can be found in 2019 Topps Chrome with PSA 10 comps coming in around 175 bucks. Bringing home the bronze medal at number three is Atlanta Braves right fielder Ronald Acuna Jr. Acuna ranks seventh in the MLB with a WOBA of 412 and 91st in war at 3.6. Like Lewis Robert, Acuna only played 82 games this year due to season-ending knee surgery deflating his war a bit. While he was healthy in 2021, he hit 283 with a 313 ISO P, 24 homers, 17 stolen bases, and only Kang in 23.6 of his 360 plate appearances. Acuna's first chromes can be found in 2017 Bowman Chrome, with PSA 10 comps coming right around $400. His top flagship rookies are in 2018 Topps Chrome, with PSA 10 comps coming right in at $220. Second on this list is Toronto Blue Jays first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Vladdy's WOBA of 419 put him among the top five in the MLB and his 6.8 war among the top 10. He led the AL East in home runs, on base percentage, slugging, and OPS. Over 698 plate appearances, he hit 311 with a 290 ISO P and 48 home runs, holding a crazy 1.27K to walk ratio. His Bowman first cards can be found at 2016 Bowman Chrome with PSA 10 comps around $425. His flagship Topps Chrome can be found in 2018 Topps Chrome with PSA 10 comps around $200. Finally, bringing home the number one spot is Washington Nationals right fielder Juan Soto. Soto is only 23 and one of the most disciplined hitters in the MLB who led the big leagues in walks and OBP in 2021. He posted a 420 WOBA, good for fourth in the MLB, and a 7 war, putting him at number 5 among all big leaguers. Over the course of his 654 plate appearances in 2021, Soto hit 313 with 29 homers, 20 doubles, and posting a .64K to walk ratio. Soto doesn't have a Bowman Chrome first prospect card, only an auto, with PSA 10 comps coming in around $7,000. If you want a more affordable option, you can find his Topps flagship rookies in 2018 Topps Chrome update, with PSA 10 comps coming in around $300. That's going to wrap up the top five baseball cards to buy before the 2022 lockout ends. And as I mentioned before, if you guys are looking to avoid high print runs, you can always buy autos or parallels of the cards I gave to you. And if you're into baseball cards, prospects, and rookies, please check out my channel and subscribe so you don't miss any of my new content. And head over to my Patreon page where you can find a ton of exclusive content. I'll put a link in the description. So if you know of any players under the age of 25 that you like, be sure to post them in the comments. I want to give a big shout out to all of my patrons and my subscribers. Y'all have a good one.